Is Ally Financial Bank a good takeover target right now? Warren Buffett owns Ally Financial, and I'm looking for new financial plays because I feel sort of like a kid in a candy shop with all these opportunities uh, with high dividend yields. On this channel, we look for dividends. 100,000 dividends we're making so far uh, per year. Uh, our performance and value, uh, it's been struggling some, but we're still up five, 6% for the year, still beating the S&P. We were up 30% for the year, uh, but this market is really chopping around right now. And we want to look at Ally Financial because, <clears throat> excuse me, because we bought some banks yesterday. Citigroup, Bank of America, and U.S. Bank Corp. Okay, so we looked at the charge of those yesterday. Please check out that video. Now, we only bought 1,000 of each because we have 400,000 in the Cornerstone, and we have you know tens of thousands in these other ones. The $5,000 names start to be the lower-rated funds on Morningstar, so they are the inferior funds. And the $1,000 names are the ones with the most risk. I even added to Goggle yesterday, which is a shipping company with a 20% dividend. We'll, we'll do a video on that tomorrow. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I woke up early. Also, I talk quietly because my kid is still asleep. Okay. So, <clears throat> also, uh, we have about 300000 in debt. Two ninety five. Okay. So, I'm trying to find some plays that beat the interest of the margin, which is about 5%. And when you go to Ally stock, you see that they have a 5% dividend, roughly. 4.95. And uh, so, that covers my margin interest. I like that. And the stock was formerly at 50, and now it's at 25, 24, 31. So if the stock was formerly at 50 and it's at about 25, then it has about 100% upside from current levels. So this is looking like it's at support of 2023 20, lows. See, this, this low here coincides with about this low here from the regional bank crisis, the Silicon Valley Bank fallout. Uh, we tried to get above the 200-day moving average earlier this year, but that, that stalled out. Um, there's a way we can get back above it, though, if we can um, hold this area and bounce back rather fast. Uh, MACD looks like it's trying to cross. The blue through the, through the yellow. RSI was oversold. So all systems are looking good for Ally Financial. Again, this is a Warren Buffett holding. I'm sure he added more to shares here. Uh, I heard he paired his position in U.S. Bank Corp. Not sure. Um, please double check on that. As long as he's not selling his Ally Bank uh, holding, that's all I need to know. And again, on a five-year chart, it was at 50, a little over 50. So to me, and then 2019 highs were about 30 a share. So we have a 25% you know, upside just to get back to those 2019 highs. So there's a, there's a lot of value to be had here, a lot of buying volume again on a max time frame chart. So on a five-year, on a max time frame, we see that uh, this is about its IPO price. 2015, uh, it, it came out in 2015 at about this price, and here it is back at 2015 prices. So it really looks like a multi-general, multi-generational buying opportunity. I want to show you the earnings on Seeking Alpha. Um, Ally Financial, it made $2.2 billion last quarter. Uh, which is pretty strong, and the net income was a billion. Now I don't know what pre-provision net revenue is. I don't know what I don't know what that means. That might not be full net income, but if this is the metric they're going by, and people like people accept this metric, the analysts accept pro you know, core pro pre-provision net revenue, then and Warren Buffett can accept it, then I'll accept it. Okay, so the the earnings are strong for Ally Financial. The chart was attractive. I have some notes prepared. I just want to read this to you. I said, adding one more financial stock into the fold, Ally. It is a Warren Buffett play with a focus on auto loans, insurance, and mortgages. There are even talks of the company being bought out by Buffett because the share price is so cheap. This is like being a kid in a candy shop with respect to shopping for high-quality bargain bank stocks that have nice enough yields to cover my margin interest. There is a shortage of cars. Most cars on the road are outdated, and loans to car companies are secured by the assets. My friend also sells used cars, and he says business is still strong, even though durable orders continue to fall. 
that's a sign that inflation is falling, in my opinion. But durable good orders could be for uh, electronics, um, any high-priced item. And cars seem to still be going strong because uh, people need cars. Um, so if the banks fell for no reason, as SVB was an outlier, and bigger banks will still lend to take market share from smaller regional banks, then isn't this a multi general I'm sorry, I can't say that word today. Isn't this a multi-generational buying opportunity in the banks? After all, bigger banks are interest rate hedge and cannot have runs on their banks, as many depositors are much smaller than the clients of SVB, and there are many more assets that bigger banks control which act as another layer of security from a bank run. So this is what we did yesterday to make room for Ally Financial. We sold FAS and FAZ to raise equity and lose zero income. Those funds, FAS and FAZ, were 100% maintenance. So if I had 2,000 of them, then it raised 2,000 in maintenance. Uh, and then I bought four stocks at about 0.25 maintenance. So U.S. Bank Corp., Bank of America, Citigroup, and Ally Financial. They're, they were all low maintenance, 0.25 to 0.3 maintenance. So that's like buying 1K of FAS. If, if four of them are 0.25, that's 100%. So uh, I get much more bang for my buck with these four stocks who all have nice dividends, about 3 to 5% dividends. However, my margin rose by 3K. So, but if interest rates fall, as the Fed has alluded to, and the Fed keeps cutting rates, then I can afford to have more margin on at these levels, okay? Even though my margin is growing to 300,000, it was just 200,000 about a month ago. When our market value was at 430 and our performance was up 30% for the year, our market value 430, our margin was 200 grand. Now it's 300 grand because we did do some buying in this latest um, panic, but we also closed a lot of our puts to reduce to reduce leverage and that added back margin because we were collecting significant premiums from those puts. So, um, so if I can afford to have these stocks because they pay my margin interest, then I also don't mind having 300K in margin because the Fed's gonna lower rates soon. So uh, it's not gonna hurt me too bad. Uh, what's 10% interest on 300K? That's 30,000. So 5% would be 15,000. That's about a thousand a month. I'm really not worried about that because long term my dividends are going to make way more than my interest is charging me because we make 100,000 a year in dividends. And I want to get that up to a much better number uh, in a few years. I want, I want to double that number. So looking for more 100, 100% uh, capital gains potentials uh, plays with dividends that at least cover my margin interest. So cover the margin interest, but I am looking for performance to be um, replaced uh, to be regained because we lost some performance uh, during this SVB fallout. So we were up 30%. Again, now we're only up 5%. I want to get some of that performance back. You know, hopefully we can outperform the S&P with some of these bank buys. And if not, then the, the dividends will cash flow themselves, which I will make uh, my next point on. So uh, I also don't need to short these financial stocks since they are the highest quality and they are not leveraged like FAS. So Bank of America, they're already so cheap. Why short them down here? Plus only having 4K worth is not a large percentage of my overall portfolio. The upside could be large, up to 100% gains in all these funds that we, uh, stocks as we just identified. Uh, but the downside is less at these current levels. So that's why I felt no need to have a short on. And again, we took off the triple long, so I don't need to have the triple short. Meanwhile, dividends pay to wait out the storm. The dividends pay to wait out the storm and eventually cash flow the asset over the long term, which is how one is supposed to invest anyway, in my opinion. So this is what we've done. We've bought Ally Financial. Uh, the market opens in uh, 20 minutes. Um, uh, we're completely diversified. We don't care just about the financials. We just see, I just see a lot of opportunity in the financials with low maintenance and high dividend yields. So check out my past video on maintenance if you want to check that out. Uh, it's the secret to running margin, having low maintenance names. All these funds up top are low maintenance. Cornerstones, 0.3 maintenance, you know, but these ones that are lower, that I have less money in, for example, Oxford, is 100% maintenance. So even though it has an awesome dividend of about 17%, I can't have too much equity in it because it takes up 100% of my equity. $500, is, it takes up 500 in equity with Oxford, but $500 
and let's say let's for math a thousand dollars in cornerstone only takes up 300 in equity so i i would show you those uh, statistics on you can go to your margin tab here and find it i've done past videos on them though so just check that out but i'll do one for you really quick uh oxford o x l c which is another financial by the way uh 100 percent maintenance but ally financial is only 30 percent maintenance and it's a high quality name now a lot of these regional banks key corp uh 100 maintenance you see i really wanted key corp uh key k-e-y i really wanted this company yesterday because it has a six percent dividend but it's a hundred percent maintenance and a lot of these regional banks are like that so um you know and warren buffett's a smart guy i think he understands insurance and and mortgages because he owns a lot of financials himself and 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 cars are the biggest component of of ally banks business model they're one of the biggest components and so it's a different way to play the banks uh, which again, a lot of people need cars and that's not changing anytime soon. So anyway, that's the video for today. Could Ally be a takeover target? I would put more money in it, but we can't have too much stock specific risk. We put all of our money in these funds. That way they don't have any headline uh, risk. I can't have more money in the financials and then overnight they blow up again. That would really drag on my performance and then put me in a risk of a margin call. So I always have to keep this available for withdrawal number uh, over, I like to keep it over 100. It's, it's dangerously low at about 75K right here, 74. But I have 15K short on uh, that are 100% maintenance. So that would really be 90K available for withdrawal. So I'm doing okay there. We have plenty of shorts on. We have uh, short options. Okay, we have these options on the queues and, uh, and on the, on the S&P. We also bought some calls in the queues, not because we're bullish on the market in that in, in this immediate moment, but because we just want to strangle the, the puts so that if we lose on the puts, we don't lose so much because the calls go up in the other direction. But we have more on in puts than calls, so it's a strangle to the downside. A straddle would be one for one put and call, but a strangle is two puts to one call. So that'll offset the losses on our puts so we don't lose performance. We also have 10K short cornerstone right here, 10K short there. And we have our triple shorts, sector-specific shorts like Lab, like Fang D, Sox S. We have China um, short and Yang. Um, you know, we have a, a short Arc Fund, um, and then we also have uh, our 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 index shorts, which are SQQ, the triple short. We have about four thousand in that, and we have about uh, six thousand in SPXU. And these are going to get hurt today as the market is up in the pre-market. So hopefully our calls will do will make up for some of that. I accept some lost performance from the shorts because our long should clean up in the other direction. So uh, again, hope you like the video. Tell me what you think about Ally Financial. Are there any other banks that look like good takeover targets at these cheap prices? You know consolidation is ripe in the industry right now. So this is my play on, on, on that consolidation. Plus, I like Warren Buffett. I like to mimic in my portfolio what he has. I either have all S&P and NASDAQ in my portfolio or Warren Buffett. You can't go wrong when you mimic your portfolio to theirs, to the S&P, NASDAQ, and Warren Buffett's because then your, perf your performance is always uh, in line with uh, the benchmarks. So anyway, uh, take care. Uh, leave comments if you have any more ideas. Talk to you soon. Thanks.